Welcome to Scared Out of Our Collective Heads. I'm Patrick. I'm Kevin. And we're back with another great horror game that kind of isn't a horror game. It's it's still a horror game. It's not a zombies game. We're talking about The Last of Us. Yes. The absolute pinnacle of the PlayStation 3. The best exclusive, hands down. Hands down. And one of my favorite things about this is even though these aren't quite zombies, this got the feel and the idea of what makes a great zombie movie. Yeah. It got it just hit it out of the park, hit it perfectly. It shows how people interact and how the world has to rebuild and how how do you do that when everything is taken from you? Yeah. What do you do as a person? What do you do as a society? And showing these people in their journey um, through that world is really unique. It's also really fun because it start at the at the very beginning of the game, it's the normal world in which we live. Yes. And we take a character from there right up until the the epic, the moment in which times change. Yeah. Then we jump forward in time, was it 20 years, I think? Something like that. Yeah. And so we jump forward in time to after everything has has, has gone to hell mm -hmm. for so many years. And so we, we empathize with the character because we were there with him at the beginning and then we're experiencing the world as he sees it. Exactly. I don't want to spoil a lot of this game because there's so much to experience, there's so much to to learn as you learn, as the characters learn and everything. Yeah, if you um, spoil it, I will punch you. I will not spoil anything, but I will say the interaction between Joel and Ellie is amazing. Yeah. I love the two of them. I love, you have such human characters, such three-dimensional characters that uh, and are interacting with this world, interacting with each other. and. I love that they didn't try to force in any love story at all between anybody. Yeah. Uh, that didn't. I mean, there was. There's okay. There's a little bit of history with some of it. It's. I love that they didn't do that, and I love that in regards to her and other characters, um, they didn't take any cheap shots. One of the beautiful awesome. things. One of the beautiful things about the storytelling that they did in this game is. Um, okay, so after you've beaten the game. Uh, you go back through and it, it allows you to select a, what they call chapters. Yes. But when you're going through, it doesn't feel like chapters. They like you, you, when you, when you reach the end, you're like, oh yeah, there's, there's a part where I was with, with this guy, and there's a part where I was with her, and there was it all, all these... It all felt natural. Right, though. but every, everything works that way. Mm -hmm. And there are several time jumps where they'll, they'll, they'll transition to a new time. Yeah. But it goes well with the flow of the story mm -hmm. and allows the characters um, to to develop with each other yes. with implied development off screen, which is something that's tricky to do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of a lot of developers try to try to force it, make it where it's like you are. It, it's 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 the Anakin and Obi Wan. You've been such a good friend for yes. these long years. We've been such yeah. good when, friends. If you have to say it out loud, you're doing it yeah, wrong. Exactly. The storytelling in this game is. is Absolutely magnificent, and there's 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 an hour and a half long up on up on YouTube of just the cutscenes. Just the cutscenes is a movie, and I it hope is. I hope this gets made into a movie. But going through this wood characters, feeling their fear, the clickers. Yeah, those are so terrifying. If you, I played it with headphones. I didn't, and that's that, that is. It, I oh, played it with surround sound, so it's yeah. it's the worst. Yeah. But so yeah, like the sound design is is so wonderful. The the graphics are amazing for that time period. The remastered version on PS4 is is prettier, but it's it's how I remember it. Sure, sure. The implied stories, mm -hmm. going back to to the implied development of the characters, the implied stories. Sure. Ish. I want to know what happened to Ish. Yeah. That was that was wonderful. And then the expansion left behind mm -hmm. is also really incredible and. Again, no spoilers. Does something that really advances the genre and the medium. Yes. If you're a gamer, you need to play this game. Uh, even if you consider yourself more of a casual gamer, the story is immense. The story is impactful, and it's totally worth your time. And if you don't have a PlayStation, you can actually play this on PS Now with a subscription on your PC. Yes. You have no excuse. <laughs> See you guys later.